today's episode, you see me, I am like so comfy, glasses, everything. So today, we are, me and my cousin and probably my auntie, we are going to do some, um, yeah, I cannot talk. We're getting some names off the angel tree. I can't see my head, but it don't matter. Um, my cousin has a um, nonprofit organization. It's called Heart to Heart Ministries, where she um, do things like every holiday. You know, uh, if it's a family in need for Christmas, we'll get their list. We'll do a few families for Thanksgiving, different things. So we're doing um, for Thanksgiving. I think we just did gift cards. We used to try to like get a basket of stuff together, but it's just like who about to do all this? So we just did gift cards, and then. Um, this year for Christmas we're doing um, Angel Tree. I'm still tired, so we're doing. We're getting like I think five nights off the Angel Tree, and we're gonna go and just uh, get everything from Walmart and then turn it in. So let's go. It's, it's kind of like a little better view because I do look kind of cute with my little glasses and my hair or whatever. So yeah. Okay, so we made it to Walmart. This is the Angel Tree with the boys and girls' names on them and their little tags. We already have our five. I have four in my hand. My auntie has the other one. They're trying to decide to do one at a time. And I'm like, no, man, we're about to do all five of them at once. So they're um, looking for clothes. It's like clothes, toys, um, coats, and like arts and crafts each one of them have different things we did like say if it's five things on each list we got at least three out of the five and maybe even four so we're looking for we had like two girls and i think three boys i don't know it was two whatever either one so we're looking for really really cute clothes they had super cute girl clothes i was doing that one um we had like an 18 month old a four-year-old five-year-old three-year-old and maybe like a two-year-old so those are all the different things we're looking for see we divided the clothes by the hangers and now we're looking for shoes each one of them got clothes and shoes and then i'm like y'all i found some light-up shoes so you know we have to try to get everybody a light-up shoes because what little kid does not like light-up shoes like come on now so we we got everybody's shoes everybody's clothes now we're going to the toys look at my auntie looking for my nephew some mickey mouse i'm like no his name is not on these lists but anyways so yeah we got all the stuff we got one little girl mini because it says she really likes stuff animals somebody else like cocoa melon and some other things um now look they look at the christmas decorations i'm like we cannot ever get in and out um but anyways i'm gonna still talk about the um the angel tree kids because they're looking at christmas um decorations and none of us really have kids well my auntie got an older son so we like well if we had kids we would have this we would do that so that's why they're looking at the decorations but anyway so yeah it was super fun and super easy to um get the 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 items like one part one kid like cocoa melon so we got like cocoa melon underwear because they said they needed underwear so i'm like if it was me I would love whatever character I like underwear. Like they were potty trained. I think he was like three or something. So that was really cool. Um, very inexpensive. I mean, when you add it all together, obviously it's expensive. But like one kid wanted Play-Doh. So, you know, like it's so fun to do. Um, this is part, I think I mentioned in another um just still showing y'all Christmas stuff in another video. This is part of my cousins. This is her heart to heart um nonprofit organization so this is what we love to do and so this is us getting i love that little outfit so we bagged them all individually so it was like five bags and i'm trying to record and do this and we stuck the names in there or whatever so once you you know pay for everything and you uh you know go bag it i can't talk um you take it to the customer service and so the customer service person what they do is they take it and they bag it individual this woman was kind of like so slow y'all because she was trying to talk to everybody else and i'm like come on but anyway so she bags them individually and then the um what is it salvation army they come and pick them up. i don't know how often or if it's every day and you actually tear your name you tear the bottom, you can see the tag on the counter, you tear the bottom of it so it's like a little thing that shows that you, you know, donated and then they staple the actual sticker to the bag so that they know who to give the gift to, you know, at the Salvation Army. So I think it's so fun, so cute. They don't, I don't think they put the race, which obviously you can tell by the name. We wasn't, 
we didn't really care it looked like we had a, a mexican name for sure by one of the last names and i can't really remember the other ones but you know it doesn't matter so our next stop we went to what is it collins street bakery my auntie one she always give like my mama and her siblings or whatever well not my mama this year obviously but her siblings like a fruit cake and i'm like i don't even know why y'all like the nasty cakes but hey that's just my opinion but you know i have to look at the bakery because y'all like sweets is just i don't know like i just have to have them it's like crack or something like for real for real so of course y'all gonna see me picking up some sweets look how cute those little christmas uh cupcakes are but i like vanilla so i didn't get a cupcake but this is me looking around because honestly i've always rode by but i've never been in collin collin street bakery they had so many different fruit cakes i guess they're known for the fruit cakes, I really don't know, y'all, because I've never been in. But of course, they had like really cute atmosphere. It was so Christmassy. Um, they even had up, I think, yeah, their Christmas tree. It was super cute or whatever. Um, I liked that they had like a little food section, like a deli. Um, too. I don't know if I showed that, but I had to get a birthday cake ball, y'all. I got two of those. I got two lemon cake balls and. I got, I think, some cookies. Yeah, I got some, I think, chocolate chip and peanut butter. But, yeah, I did not eat all of that, so don't come for me that day. I ate it all, but I'm saying, like, you know, that day or whatever. So then, it's like, y'all, I really be everywhere, but I really don't. So Bath & Body Works had another sale. You know your girl have to. The room sprays, y'all. If y'all haven't got these, what is y'all doing? These are my favorite. I think it was on sale for, like, $3 or something. These are all the ones I got. I didn't just get, I got me and some other people. But, but y'all don't come for me because Bath & Body Works, I be getting stuff for other people too. So, anyways, I'm trying to tell you about these pins now. So, I got to order whatever. This is just me taking them apart and, like, sending everything down. And also, don't come for me again because I literally just need to get a stand. And, yeah, I got, like, three or four tripods. But it's, like, when I be working, I just be trying to, like, help and record and do my stuff and record. So I don't have time to be just, like doing all this extra setting up angles or whatever, whatever. So, anyways, I think this is such a cool order. I was so excited. So, this is i did like six layers of orange because the orange was so light and it's a black pen so this is like the third layer that i'm showing you so it's two guys and it's like five girls at seven this is the orange glitter i'm using for the girls and you saw the paint that i'm using for the guys um i'm trying to show you see the one on the left is the on is three layer no two layers and then the one on the right is three of the glitter i did three layers of glitter total so i'm gonna show you again see how you can still see some black in those so that's only two layers of the glitter and this is the third layer it's a little lighter but as you can tell it's like more flawless or whatever so this is the i put them on the pin turner so i don't come for me to foil y'all i rig this machine it don't even matter so i didn't want to mess up the other one because i only had seven pins y'all see it it don't even matter it works well so yeah i had seven pins and normally i do eight all together but you see the glitter ones and i have the two solid ones and look it's for a water burger uh, i think he's a manager or general manager he wanted to get them for his employees and i was like that is so thoughtful and so cool so one side says water burger and the other side has their names y'all like how cool is that so they're done drying this was like a two-day process um this is the drill that i use y'all y'all would think i do nails but no it's for the pins so this is after they're done drying it says michaela and then water burger on the other side you see how ragged and like the epoxy can like obviously go over and be kind of on the ends like that so i'd like to drill it down with the drill i found that it's so super easy than sanding and just trying to do all of that and fouling down I got the drill from actually uh, Amazon, like 10 or less than $20 at least. See how it look? Period. Ugh, it looks so good and so polished on the end. I'm going to show you the other end as well. See? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So that's what I like to do. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the pen back together. As you can see, it looks so, 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 so good. I can do a better detailed uh, video on everything, but this is just, I'm showing you one of my Christmas orders and a kind of like sort of a how-to but y'all see my hands are really dusty as if i am like doing nails with the drill so yeah i'm waiting i do have the other one too i'm gonna show y'all i'm just trying to show y'all the pen a little bit or whatever i'm gonna show you the other one yeah the non-glitter as well 
how I do that one. I really like the that orange. See how many layers I have to do to get it that solid. But it is what it is. I think I'm going to start spray painting, y'all. But I haven't tried that out yet to see if I have to see if it's less layers that I'll have to do if I use spray paint than actual paint. So I may test that out one day. But today will not be the day. You see how smooth that is? Love it. Both ends. So smooth. So, I don't know, crisp or whatever. So I'm going to put that one together as well boom looks so good y'all this was these were so so fun i'm like man i would have never thought about that you know um water burger pens but it was so fun to do and he absolutely loved them by the way um i don't know what i'm doing right here i guess i'm just trying to show y'all that it work you know and all that good stuff Out of all the things that I offer business-wise, I will say pens are literally my favorite. People say they're so expensive, but it's like they're $10 a piece. You have to get a minimum of four. For one, the pens are expensive themselves. And then, y'all, this is like a two, three-day job, you know? So, whatever. And they're custom. But anyways, once I'm done, I like to wipe them down with baby, like a baby wipe or something, just so I can get all the dust or whatever that may still be on them, you know, after. Um, see my hands? I'm telling y'all. So, yeah, I don't want that dust and stuff. Um, on them or whatever but yeah people be like ten dollars yeah it's a pen you want your name you want your picture with. i put pictures on them and everything so whatever but boom look y'all oh my god they look so good i love to get like the grass in the background i do this every time i make pens i don't know why but i just love that look and then these are the other side with the names on there I really really think they'll like them i know i would wherever i worked if my boss did that but anyway so this is me uh, packaging them or whatever. This, I made these little cards or whatever, just with my logo, my number, and the little RQ code, just in case the RQ code don't work. I got my number on there. So yeah, I wanted to put the water burger on the outside so, so, so bad, but of course y'all, they wouldn't know which pen was which. So I just had to put the names on there. So when they open them, they'll be like, oh my gosh, it says water burger, or they'll think it's cool because it's orange anyways, whatever. So this is all of them packaged up. So I'm about to get ready to deliver them. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next Vlogmas.